I'm from Oklahoma in the United States. Uh, our companies deal with H2S and oil. That's all we do. Uh, so bye bye to you guys. It's ultra regulations and what H2S is. Y'all already know what that, what all that is. So I'm going to skip down here to what most of the wells that we've treated. We treated wells in Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, and we're starting a project in Wyoming. This well was a gas well. Our levels of H2S are not as high as yours, and the wells are off the chart. Uh, this was 1,450 parts per million. Uh, we brought it down to zero and kept it there for three years. This is just my guys setting up these tanks, and I'll show you what these tanks do. All of the black tanks are ours. This gas was really wet, and a lot of the gas in Oklahoma is. Gas companies, if we can, they like for us to take part of that vapor and that water off of there. So that's what the three little tanks are. They're demisting tanks to, to pull the water off. Put a thousand gallons of water in there with my crystal, and I'll show you the crystal here in a little bit. That crystal will kill the H2S. The way it does it, does it on a molecular level. For whatever reason, that H2S molecule is attracted to this crystal. When they combine, it will explode it at the molecular level. The hydrogen will go on out even with the, the gas of the crude. The sulfur will stay here. It is no longer H2S after we get to it. Uh, no, all I'm doing is I'm moving that gas through the bottom of my big tank after it comes through the demister. I've got capsules in those big tanks to keep that gas built up. If I keep the gas broke up, I can get to those molecules a lot easier. So it uh, let it bunch together. This one was we looked at through two, two of our tanks. We take it right over the the gas line was 20 feet over there. Then we use a dregger tube. We use four different ways to test H2S out in the field. Uh, the one on the left, uh, that well was uh, if I can see it from here. 1550 parts per million. Got to show you on the dredger. We, we brought it down to 0.0. The one on the right, 1450 parts per million. We brought it to 0.00. These are the next bunch of slides are just wells that we've done. Uh, this one, uh, 2000 parts per million on H2S. And yeah, it's us setting up our power. It's basically the same thing every time we place we go. These are different wells. This well, 5,000 parts per million. You can see the flare out there at the side. The arrow's pointing to one of our tanks. Uh, we used a separator that was already on site in this particular job. Uh, got a tree where they no longer had the flare. But they have the flare on there. Y'all know how corrosive HQS is. This is just the effect of it. Yeah, these are just different wells. This well was about a thousand parts per million. And so we set up again, we just used to separate the large M size. And then you can switch to the other, but the other one's number two. Can you switch it? Four the slides. I got no, I got another one. There's two parts. And most of them yeah. are more uh, projects. So no, I've like got some more on the other one. Another mm -hmm. yeah. well we did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to skip on down. Uh, so these are just wells we've done. This well was right next to the, to the purchaser of the gas. Uh, everybody used it out here. Caleb Brett also used, they've got a system I can test H2S with. If you did, it's pretty good. We invented this one with a company called Textrol. I can put this on, in my system. I can get an H2S reading going in and I can get one coming out. And I can do it every second around the clock. You can pull it up on the computer, uh, on your phone, anywhere in the world. Any well that we're on, you can 
I'll give you the number two you can pull it up and see what it's going to be. There's the inside of it, what it looks like. There's the one, the monitor that goes on the inlet before we get up there. That's what the reading looks like when we print it out. All right. This is the water after it's been run through my tank. The water over it, it's all the same. The one on the right is just clear. If you let it set, that'll be what's on the left. It'll have a little bit of carbon up there at the top because the carbon will float to the top. At the very bottom, in that top left-hand slide up there, you'll see that little, looks like sand. That's the sulfur. So that uh, one is the, the beer clear, it's after the treatment or what? Okay, let me get up there and I'll come. Okay. 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 The right side. This slide, yes. this is gold water that came out of my tank. This one just came out. This one we've let set for a little while. Once it sets, you'll see this carbon up here at the top. That's just the oil carbon that this little bit of carbon will still be left in there. That's what this is. This slide, this is all the sulfur. Just in that little bit right there, that's how much sulfur was in there. That sulfur is what we pulled out by H2S when we separated the hydrogen and the sulfur. Hydrogen went on out with the gas. This is on a gas well. The sulfur stayed in our tank. So we've taken away the H2S. That's mean the uh, treatment process or the, something like that. No, no, we'll have one way. One way, just one way. Uh, this is after I've emptied my tank. See those, those thousand gallon tanks? I take it to a disposal well just because I don't want any trouble with OSHA or anybody. I don't have to because there's nothing in this water. You can see how yellow that water is. That's tap water that we use. That water is yellow because of the sulfur. That's how much sulfur we pulled out. That was the H2S we pulled out of there. This is just more wells we did. This is something else we do. It's a vapor recovery. Those two slides are the same tank. Tank battery on the left is looking at it with the naked eye. Tank battery on the right is taking a picture with a clear camera, with an infrared camera. You can see the yellow. That's going to be an H2S vapor cloud. These are just more pictures of a flare on top of these tank batteries. Same tank battery, naked eye and with a clear camera. You can see that cloud up there on top. Your guy gets up on top of that tank to, to measure whatever he's dead. The slide over here on the right is going to be more like what y'all have. A big set of tank batteries with a very big slide in there. Here's how we recover it. The state of Oklahoma had already started this project and it didn't work. What they were trying to do was get it on up further in the atmosphere. They took it up about 50 feet and just blowing it over on the neighborhood. So we just went, all we're going to do is we'll hook up on the top of that tank battery and we'll capture that vapor before it ever gets to the atmosphere. I can use PVC pipe to do that with. I don't have any pressure on that cloud, so I'm going to have to come down here and put a small vacuum pump. I need between 8 and 12 pounds of pressure to move that paper. You know, it's going to run it through my tanks. I'm going to clean the H2S out of it. When it comes out the top of that other tank, it's ready to go to the sales line because I've taken all the H2S out of it. This is just where we're setting up on different wells to recover that paper. This is the one we did for the state. You can see the PVC pipe coming down by that wooden pole. It just goes over there and taps into the bottom of my tank. We kept, that's how we did it on the top of the tank battery. That's how we do the vapor. This is going to be at the disposal wells. It's kind of the same thing y'all have here in these, these retention ponds that you've got. They're just a big mess. And we can go in there and clean them up. We aerate them. That one picture there in the bottom in the middle has got three aerators in it. 
we need to keep that, that muck and that water moving so that our crystal can get to it. We'll kill the H2S that's in it, and I'll take that really heavy crude, uh, probably got a 10, 15 gravity on it. I'm gonna raise that gravity to about 40 to 45 before we can move it, so it will thin it out. I can take that old mucky crude that kind of tar, and, and we can make it where we want to do the refinement. Y'all won't have anything nastier than that. This was on a disposal well that Bison uh, Petroleum's got there in Oklahoma. Yeah, I got you about all of that stuff. That's pretty much what we do. Here are the crystals that we use. All I do is put that in water. This material for this is it. Yeah. Exactly for what? This will be, this will kill the H2S. Mm -hmm. All I do is put it in water and run it through there. I've been out to the field. Uh, I'm going to have to tell you what field we went to. We went through there, spent the day with the production manager and everybody looked at everything, figured out where we could tie in. Y'all's systems are just like ours in the United States, other than you call things different than what we do. Uh, all we're going to do is tap into it, and as long as I can get that crystal in there to that crude, I'll kill the H2S. Could you give uh, more suggestion about this material, how to use? All you're going to do is put it in water, and, I'm gonna, and we'll pump it in. I can't tell you the structure of it. It's all patented and proprietary and all that, but it's EPA approved in the United States. Uh, no hazmat thing has to be done to it. But that's all we're going to do. What I have to do here, because your levels are so high, we're going to have to start and make an educated guess as to that, how much it is to put in, and then I'll start pulling the data, and we'll have to either raise it or decrease it. Now, once we flush that system out, because that H2S is just hanging in there. You've got it from the bottom of the well hole all the way out to the, to the tank battery. It's completely through your system. I guarantee right. you most of that... H2S is going to be hanging out in what y'all call the separator. We call it a knockout in the United States. It's that long vertical cylinder that's sitting out there. You're going to have a bunch in the manifold. Uh, I said we figured out where we could tie in to get it into the manifold, and we can tie in and get it into the uh, to your separator. If we need to, after we get done at the start, to keep that thing flushed out, we may have to put some in the tank battery does not affect your crude at all. Uh, doesn't do anything to it other than it kills the H2S. In. It'll kill all the bacteria that's in that crude. Doesn't matter what it is. Well, the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You have a slide about uh, pollution or something like that about uh, some disease about leaks in tanks or about leaks in uh, transport by trans transport by we can do it so can how how we can to treat the sand or how to can on the sand the yeah we'll have to do something else different yeah. on the sand my stuff's not going to do anything you're saying uh, but i do have a partner that's a remediation company they can come in here and help clean that sand up after i get the pond cleaned out I can bring what I can do. We, use, yeah, we do a lot of work for Argonne National Laboratory in Chicago. Um, I can bring Argonne in here. They are the world's best when it comes to remediating soil. Uh, Argonne is owned by the United States Department of Energy. And once we clean the pits out, and get it all cleaned out, then I can bring them in here to, to help get the soil back to where it needs to be. If anyone can do it, Argon can do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
اي المصطلحات اللي خلفها اي عندنا هذه المهمات المخلفات المخلفات هذه اللي يسال النهائي يعني تعرف انه يسال قال انا ما طبعا من صاحب البيع يعني سواء ازاله الماده سواء المعالج الاضافه نعم المعالج اللي صار اشرح لي عليه شو تبيه انت هذا كلها لا توقفت الشركه يعني خاصه هي يعني هذه المصفاة المعالجة تامة تعرفني فين؟ المصفاة هي المكلفة بالشيء هذا هذا جاش البريكة لا جاش البريكة هو احنا موجودين عندنا غادي مقارنة في وقتها هي شركة المصفاة هي اللي متكفلة بالشيء هذا المصفاة تعطي عطاتها ايه. سواء في العلاج البقايا المستنقعة اللي برا سواء في التنظيف في الزنا احنا عندنا مشكلة حاجة مياه مصاحبة مياه مصاحبة ايه الهيكل الكربون موجود Both of them have a way of cleaning that water. One of them does it with a, with a plasma machine. Uh, the other one does it with a... <laughs> you seen the plasma? This is the first one. Plasma machine. Yeah. You've never seen one? I can bring one or both of those in here. The way to do that would be to, because it's the cheapest way to do it. Is to let me, yeah, to, to see which one would work the best is send me two to four 55 gallon drums of that water to the United States. One of those machines is in, uh, right now, is in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, the other machine is in uh, just south of Corpus Christi, Texas. I'll take two barrels, one barrel, two barrels, I'll take to San Antonio, the other two or one I'll take down to Corpus. I'll run them both through there. What I'll do is I'll do an analytical before we run it, and then I'll do an analytical after we run it. We can pretty much take any water, regardless of what it is, depending on what stage I go to, uh, I can make it for as possible. I can make it to where we recycle it on stage one, and I can get it where you can reuse it back in the well. You can frack with it, you can use it back in the well. Stage two, you can use it to irrigate with. Stage three, you can drink it. So it just depends on which stage you want to go. The most cost-effective way to figure out which one of those I could do is just be to send me some, some, a couple of barrels of water. And let me run to the conclusion now, your three steps to uh, treat that uh, water is coming with the hydrocarbon. Yeah. In three steps. Yeah. The plasma machine, it doesn't bother it that it's got the carbon in it. The one in San Antonio, it does. So I'll have to take the carbon out before I can run it through that machine. And we have a way to do that. It just depends on how much of it we're doing with. I think the, without doing it, I think the best machine to do it with is going to be one day in Corpus Christi. Uh, but I, need, I want to try both of them. Uh, there is no better in the world than those two machines. It's just a matter of which one is going to work the best. So we had a couple of barrels of that water and say so I could do the analyticals before and after, film everything that we were doing it, and then you guys could make a decision based on what the end result was on which one you wanted. That way I can put the budget together and all that and what the cost is and all that. It's the simplest way I know to do it. And then have the 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 fabric to the market. Also we have uh, empty cans for the market. Empty cans how to uh, can to uh, how big are they? 
uh, around uh, 200 meters. Okay, so yeah. For each yeah. can, it's empty, but uh, it's used before for uh, mercantil. So there's any uh, way or there's any... Uh, there's any bacteria or anything in it? Also? Yes, bacteria or recycle or something like we'll that. We'll kill it. Yeah. We can take a... The first thing I would do would be to take <laughs> this crystal and, and spray it on there. Just to coat the inside of it and that way I've killed all the bacteria in it. Then I'll take the other crystal, the degreaser, and I'll take a, like a high pressure washer and, and we'll just wash them out. And then they're clean and everything's dead in it, you can reuse them. And that's not good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do the same thing inside of the tank battery. Once we get the H2S killed to where we can get around it, uh, and we can empty that tank, we can get in there and, and kill everything in it and clean it completely out with the big reason. So I've got some, if you wanted to see it, I don't know how much time y'all have, we have a sample crude, and I don't know where Ahmed got it, but it's got a lot of paraffin and a lot of wax in it, and it is very heavy. Uh, it's about as nasty looking stuff as I've ever seen. We probably got about a half a liter. I'll mix up some of this stuff and we'll put it in there. I'll show you what it will do to it. If you want to see it. It's up to you. I'm the privilege of having the Wikipedia. And then I'll go out So the system used in the treatment work, uh, an environment uh, protection management. So requirements and conclusion. So the first one for the introduction. We have some artists which also significant treatment for environment and public health. In the light of this increasing environment, challenge we in the environment uh, protection department are working to the development of projects to treat this waste in the safe and effective way. So I'm, I'm talking about this picture, like this one. This is the, the soil, soil is uh, communicated by uh, hydrocarbon. Okay. Which is proceed, uh, proceed as a result of uh, removing oil building when uh, we are going to uh, remove uh, the oil building. We have some uh, glass wall. Right. Also, we, we have asbestos. We have also asbestos. Uh, it is a captain, what I have mentioned uh, before. 
So this is the main our problem here in uh, our site or our terminal in our company. We have three sites currently under a three different works. So one is called the Java terminal, the Dimension project, and the Aldera site, the Dimension project, and Angela site, the Dimension project. We have now three sites under the three. The wheels. This is the wheels where we uh, put out the hydrocarbon mesh. Okay. There's layer uh, hydrocarbon lines inside the wheels. Yeah. So that's what we are looking for. How to create the hydrocarbon? We are looking for yeah. something. I have a way to do it, but I need, I'd like to say, I need a couple of barrels of it to prove it to you. It's easier to do the barrels and let me prove it than it is for me to bring the machines over here and do it here. We'll do it in the United States first, and then we'll bring the machines over. If that makes sense to you. made sense to me when I came up with that. It's a lot cheaper, uh, I'd say, to let it run it through, to run it through both of those machines. And I'll make two machines. I have two different ones. Two different ones. Yeah. And I'll see which one works the best. You have a permission. That's a permission. No, I didn't machine. bring it with me. I didn't know we were going to be looking at that, but I can get it to you. So if there is a cooperation with you, so you can only really pick that one. Machine. Yeah, I'll bring both of them, or the one that works the best. That's what I'm saying. If I can get two to four 55-gallon drums of this water. Send it to the United States. I'll take it to those machines. I'll run an analytical report on the water before I start, and I'll run one after we run it through the machines. That way, you know what it is before and what it is after, and we'll see which one of them works the best. It's a different way between that machines or they're the both center. different. No, they're both different. We need to do uh, how to get the the way of the five machines. Well, well, yeah, once, once I, figure, I can provide all that to you. Once we figure out which machine works the best, then we can move it over here and we can make it. Right now, those machines will do about 250 gallons a minute. And we can make it 250 gallons, which would be about uh, you know, a little over five barrels. We can make it bigger. Uh, you know, to, for whatever we need to, to move here. Five barrels a minute is a lot of water. That's good. The task continues to expand, so. So this is the other side, the mediation project. Also, this is the, the second side that you just want to show you. This is the second one. This is wells. These are wells? Yes. Some of them to control the layer, and some of the, and then the others is to pull out the hydrocarbon lines. We have two different kinds of wells. Mm -hmm. One to control the lines. We have the machine, not machine, uh, which is to uh, this the layer thickness. Like a bore? Yes. Okay. Inside the well to measure the layer thickness. And the other uh, wells for the for out the hydrocarbons with the collecting the tanks. Then uh, we are looking for treatment to it. This treatment to it. Also, this is the Colangila site. We have site also. Then we have the, the hydrocarbon goes inside to ground water. So. Same, same, same. Yes. Yes. Uh, we have the same problem in the United States on those bigger wells. And uh, when I said you have, like, yeah, we have the same problem. Yeah. 
waiting and waiting to work on it and fix it. It happens everywhere in the oil field. At some point in time, through fracking and everything else, you're going to do something with that zone down there, and you're going to get into that zone. This is the news. <coughs> so, so we have uh, now uh, air bump system to uh, pick out the uh, hydrocarbon from the bottom to the surface. This is the compressor. Yeah. And this is the air bump. Joint by the bump is joint by the compressor. The compressor is uh, when the, the air inside the wells. Yep. Uh, recycle again the hydrocarbons coming to the surface and it will collect from the tanks. So this is the way which, uh, which we use now. Okay. That's what you want it to look like. Okay. <laughs> 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 what do you want? What do you have to pay for? This, That's it. Like this one, yeah. yeah. What about the uh, 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 environment protection uh, management requirement? Yeah. So permit for yes, us. Yes, we are looking for this point. Please. Yes. I think without rushing searching for searching for alternative uh, with better efficiency for primary treatment works, repairs, withdrawal works, finding advanced solution and treatment method for like remediation project in accordance with uh, broad environment requirements. Without testing it, just from what I've seen, I think the best system is going to be one at Corpus. But I'd like to run it through both of them. But I think the Corpus one will take this. What we did, we did a test on the machine at Corpus about years ago. There was an industrial fire at a, at a plant paint manufacturer. So we had paint, we had thinners, we had everything in the world. We ran that through there, and they were drinking it when it came out the other end. So if you can do that on a and on that, you can handle this. So for uh, this uh, about this point, can you open it back? Four yeah, points. Yeah. We are looking for the street. I, I think I've got the... Uh, Do you have any uh, thing for us to kind of cooperation in the future or something? Yeah, I have the machine that I think will fix it. Do you have machine? Yeah. For street. That's pleasant. Do you have an idea about what data you have that to do? I don't, but I can, so I can bring it, I can send it to you when I get back okay. to the stuff with argon you got all the trees here we did a deal in nebraska that 
after we cleaned the soil and everything, we found some trees that would leach it out of the soil. So we just planted, I think we did 6,000 trees in that little spot and leached it out of the ground and let, the, let Mother Nature take care of it. So like I said, they've got, they can move you 20 years in a day for what they've got up there. With a little bit of trust that you Hey, yeah, if I could get two to four 55 gallon drums of your water and a couple of five gallon buckets of your soil, I'll come up with a solution. Hey, As soon as I get back to the United States, I'll send it to you. Do you have a card okay. with your information on it? No, I don't have the card, but I will give you uh, my uh, email to send it Okay, to yeah, if you can just write your name and email stuff down for me. Yes. If you, uh, yeah. 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 Ye